centuries before integrative medicine became a buzzword. Witches or wise women were practicing what Ayurveda has taught for millennia, that the mind, body and spirit are one ecosystem. <laughs> They balanced elements long before we called them doshas. They read the pulse of nature before we ever measured a heartbeat. Ashwagandha for strength, chamomile for calm, tulsi to bring down fevers and suit the soul. Those weren't spells, they were planned prescriptions handed down through intuition, observation, and a deep respect for life's rhythms. Just as Ayurveda classifies herbs by rasa taste and virya energy, which is understood that the healing had flavor and fire, cooling, warming, grounding, awakening, they didn't separate the physical from the spiritual. They knew what we are only now rediscovering, that true healing begins when energy flows freely through body and mind. Today, neuroscience is finally catching up. Rituals, intention, breath, and herbal medicine, all the witchy stuff, are shown to regulate the vagus nerve, calm the amygdala, and awaken the prefrontal cortex, our center of awareness and decision-making. Magic? Uh, not so sure, but yes to biology with a dash of mystery. Maybe the witch wasn't dangerous after all. Maybe she was free. And that freedom, that deep connection with nature, intuition and cycles is exactly what wellness needs to reclaim today. Because healing is not a spell, it's remembering. I'm Anna Shasso Peterson and this is Be Well News where ancient wisdom meets modern science. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. Be healthy and be well.